Right, good morning, uh, grade sevens. <clears throat> Sorry we couldn't be together. I thought it quite important though, having worked so hard on your worksheets, I just want to go through the, the worksheet with you and show you uh, some of the mistakes that you made. Um, I'm working on two devices, so as I talk and circle, there's going to be a, a slight delay. So just take that into consideration. So you help me say something and then la later I'll circle it. Um, nothing I can do about that. For, okay. The first thing that I need to really point out, and I have to hammer home this point, some of you are going to start getting naught for plagiarism. The instruction was very clear. It said, explain the meaning of the following terms, but you must use your own words. If you use the words from the dictionary, and I know exactly what they are because I obviously go and look at them, um, you are not going to get the mark. So some of you will have a perfect explanation, but it's exactly the words used in the dictionary. I have given some credit, but you, we have to stop doing this. It is plagiarism. It is cheating. It's no good you writing what's in the dictionary, particularly if you don't understand it. So let's take a, a very clear example. So the word repeal. So a lot of you did look it up, and it, you the, the definition you would have found was to revoke and annul. I'm telling you now, I wish we were in class. I, I, if I ask you what revoke and annul me means, not one of you or very few of you would know what it is. So you've then got to, if you get a word like revoke and annul, you've got to look it up. So what I was after was to do away with, because that's what revoke or annul means. And yes, some of you said it's to do away with a law. That is true. Uh, controversial, most people got, but again, there was a lot of plagiarism there. Um, it's a dispute or disagreement between different viewpoints. I've changed it slightly from what you'll see on the internet. Okay, so a lot of you did look this word up, which is great, and you looked up gender balance. Okay, it clearly says imbalance, which is the opposite of balance. Balance means things are balanced. Imbalance means they're out of whack. They're not in balance. So it is when there is a lot more males or females than the other in a population. So imbalance could either be too many males or in this case, too many females. Gender balance is um, uh, the balance between the, the gender. But imbalance means that it's out of whack, that one is a lot more than the other. Mortality rate was pretty well handled. Uh, it's the rate at which people die. It's pretty much the same as the death rate. It's the number of deaths per thousand people annually. Okay, please remember this part, the number of deaths per 1,000 people annually when we come to question two. All right, so this one here, a lot of you are going to think, why did I get it wrong? There are two words then, inevitable and sequel. They're two separate words with two separate meetings. A lot of you gave me that. Most of you gave me that, but only a few of you for the mark gave me that. So you first need to explain that inevitable is a certain to happen event, but sequel is something that follows a previous event. Now, a lot of you spoke about a movie. Obviously, in this case, it can't refer to a movie. We do have sequels in movie, which is Rocky 2 and Rocky 3 and Rocky 4 and Rocky 5. <clears throat> but in this case, sequel means... A certain to happen event, that's the inevitable part, that follows a previous event. Social norm was pretty well handled. Behavior that is acceptable to a certain social group. And it's different, you know. I mean, uh, the social norms sometimes for teenagers, very different to adults. And the, what is acceptable in, in certain societies, not in others. So I'll give you a good example. Um, in our society, it's considered to be rude to burp at the end of a meal. In fact, it's rude to burp at any stage. But in certain Middle Eastern cultures, it's actually a sign that you really enjoyed the meal. And if you burp, everyone says, oh, thank you at the end of it. So that's just a, a, an example. <clears throat> uh, baby boom, uh, that was pretty well handled. It's a sudden increase in the number of babies. It was most, a lot of you said it. What, what happened after World War II. That's perhaps the most best known baby boom, um, where returning soldiers all suddenly uh, came home and suddenly we had a lot of babies born. I'll, I'll let you do the math sort of a, a year or so later. Uh, but that's not the only baby boom. So that's obviously not the one we're referring to in China. And select sex, selective abortion, uh, pretty well answered as well. To abort a child purely because it's a boy or a girl. 
We understand in China, uh, sadly, it was mainly aborting girls because uh, the most families desperately wanted a boy. Okay. All right, then this one here. Explain in your own words what the Chinese government means to counter the aging of the population. It's to stop or reverse the fact that the Chinese population is getting progressively older. <clears throat> um, according to the article, there were two reasons China was facing a population crisis. So you've got to look through everything uh, that we put there. And they referred to two things. The rate at which children was dying was decreasing. Child mortality was going down. In other words, the rate at which children was di were dying was decreasing or going down. That's a good thing. We don't want children to die, but it's obviously not good in terms of population numbers. And the second thing, and that's my dog making a noise, apologies for that, uh, the birth rates were still very high. Please put it in your own words, read the article, and uh, then put it in your own words, unless you ask to quote. Now, this one is completely misunderstood. So again, we now think of two reasons why China's mortality rates were falling rapidly. So let's just remember, child mortality rates is the number of deaths per thousand people. It's completely unrelated to births because it's per thousand people. It doesn't matter whether your country has 1.4 billion people or 10 people. They work it out per 1,000 people of the population. So uh, it cannot have anything to do with the birth rate. So just think, why would fewer babies die? A good thing, remember, and it's things like better medical care. That was true. Sanitation, in other words, uh, you know, making sure that water is clean and um, feces and stuff is removed. You could also have spoken that nutrition, they were getting better food. But just the word think means think. Don't try get it from the, the article necessarily. Number five, what was the main difference in the first Chinese policy to encourage families to have fewer children and the one child policy? So a lot, a lot of you uh, got confused here. The first policy was not law. It was just to encourage. So they encouraged people to have two children and no more than two children. But there were no penalties. There were no taxes. The one child policy was a law with penalties and fines if you didn't obey it. So that was the big difference between the two. <clears throat> okay, I seem to have done the same one twice here. That was a bit stupid. Let's just have another look. Okay, ah, there we go. Okay, so let's just read this. At the time, <clears throat> no one gave much to thought to the inevitable sequence of uh, something that's going to follow that is bound to happen to a sudden decline in the fertility rate. So in other words, they didn't think down the line, like in 40, 50 years time, which is where we are now, what would happen. Okay. Um, so what does a decline in the fertility rate mean? Most of you got that. The rate at which women were having babies went down, or if you like, women were just having fewer babies. Okay. Uh, this one I was also quite impressed with because a lot of you got it. One economic challenge. So it has to do with jobs or money that might, might arrive from this policy, not enough children, not enough workers when children are older. So in other words, these one child families now mean those people are now adults and they're not enough to stimulate business, not enough people to work on farms, etc. Those would all be economic. The social challenges are many uh, and one is obviously mentioned down here at the uh, about the brides, but I think a lot of you mentioned men, men couldn't find women to marry, um, a lot of you um, said that men were lonely or whatever, but that's a social challenge uh, that we have. What figure of speech is used here? It is, of course, a simile. Uh, it's using like or as. I know this is not an English lesson. Um, demography is like an ocean liner. Once it is steaming full steam ahead, steam ahead, it takes a long time to turn around. Please read your questions carefully. A lot of you misread this. Explain what this figure, this figure of speech means, i.e. this, this simile, not what a simile is. Read your questions. So this was the hardest question, I agree. So an ocean liner turns or changes direction very slowly, yeah, because it's big. 
So the demography is the same. It, it, once it's started on a path, even if you correct the course it's taking, you change it, it takes a long time to change. So when change occurs in population numbers, it takes a very long time for the effect to be seen. In other words, even if China changed the policy now, which they have done twice, it will take decades, maybe even centuries, for it to make a difference in the population numbers. Right, last one, and then we are done. Most of you got this one again. Well done. Ch China's missing girls have now grown up to become its missing brides. Brides are girls or women that are going to get married. What does that mean? Most of you got that. But why is it such a big problem? So men who want to get married, which is most men, they can't find anyone to marry because they outnumber women by quite a big degree. So why is this such a big problem? Well, with fewer marriages, even fewer children. Now, China's desperately trying to get people to have three kids because they're seeing the long-term effect of this policy. And th that's difficult to do because there are not enough women to have children because there are so uh, few women in China. Right, I hope that helped and uh, we'll see you in a week's time.